In part one of Spare, Prince Harry talks at length about the time the News of the World ran an article about Harry being a drug taker, going to rehab, etc. What I found interesting while doing some research on Camilla Parker Bowles is that Mark Boland mentions this in his 2003 interview with The Guardian. The information I'm going to present is from this 2003 article with Mark Boland. Quote, the genesis of another tabloid story offers an intriguing window on the Boland Wade Brooks axis in operation. It is the News of the World report on Harry's drugs of shame, which appeared over seven pages of the newspaper in January 2002. So this is how Boland tells it now after the fact. He said they'd been wrestling consistently with News of the World for over nine months on stories about William and drinking and or drugs, all of which weren't true, and Harry. There's apparently a particular incident that summer in Spain, photographs allegedly showed Harry in a drunk or drug state. News of the World wanted to run with it. The comms office said it was untrue and that any witness statements were false. So Mark thinks this provokes News of the World to take a closer look at Harry. According to Mark, they launched this huge investigation and their evidence is compelling. We had to make a choice. Did we fight again to stop these allegations appearing in the newspaper or did we accept that the News of the World was going to print something and make the best of it? Quote, Boland chose the latter and told the paper about a visit that Harry had made to a drug rehabilitation center in South London during the summer. Charles had supposedly arranged the visit to give his son a shock lesson on the potential consequences of drug taking. Basically what they say, it's a simple idea. You turn a negative story into a positive. It becomes a tale of a father who's enlightened and he's trying to help his wayward teenager. And the news of the world was happy to oblige. One problem though, it wasn't true. Quote, in fact, Harry had visited Featherstone Lodge in midsummer, late June or July, according to Boland's recollection. But the evidence of Harry's drug taking and drinking was gathered by the News of the World team later, nearer August or September. In order to fit its revelations into the neat redemptive narrative supplied by Boland, the News of the World had moved them forward by several months, reporting that during a two-month period covering June and July 2001, Prince Harry fell in with a bad lot. Quote, Boland now admits that the sequence of events in the story was distorted, but says that was the fault of the news of the world's overzealous attempts to be helpful. Helpful to who? Katz tried reaching out to Wade and she refused to comment along with news of the world. And Harry does surmise in his book that part of the reason that the story leaked the way it did was to improve his father's reputation. But the fact that Boland admits to manipulating a storyline with news of the world to fit this narrative of Harry taking drugs and going to rehab. He was a teenager. I mean, it's gross to do to anyone, but like, my God. 